Hi everyone. So in the previous video, you saw how to use async and await keyword, and this was the example. In this video, you will learn how to handle errors when you are making use of async and await. But before I jump into that part, I think it would be great to know how to use promise.all and promise.race method with async and await. So let's see how they actually work. So as you know already, this is the same piece of code which I used in the previous video. And I'm going to make use of promise.all method here. For that, I need to modify this code a bit. We don't need any parameter here. Plus we don't need this part. Just remove this. We simply need this string. Same goes in this case. Here also. So each asynchronous function is returning a promise with a string. Now let's modify this my function, create this thing and create a promise array. So the first function is get message one, the second is get message two, the third is get message three, the fourth is get message four. So this is the array of functions which are returning promises. Now we need to get the result. So for this, we'll make use of promise all. I will pass this array here. Put result here. Now save it, go to browser. And this is the output. So you can see we are getting values in the form of a array. To get the string, will make use of join here okay now save it and you'll get a string see we need some spacing so just add a little space here here you go so this is how promise all works you can also make use of promise dot race here and it will simply wait which one will resolve first and you will get the result here. Now we don't need this join because we will not get any array. We will simply get the string. In such a scenario, we are getting hello world first because it is resolving at one second. And you can see the output here. If I just simply make it 5000 and keep it 2000, then I will get I am Peter. Just save it. And you will see the output. Now let's have a look over the error handling. For this, you need to make use of try and catch block. So just wrap this thing between try and catch. And we'll simply console log the error message. Just cut this or just cut this entire thing and paste it here now we need to throw an error so we'll throw the error at uh, get message 3 we'll do one thing we'll just simply reject before even resolving it with some message it's rejected because we are not throwing an error object I think it will be great to remove this thing now let's make it promise all because we want to resolve all the promises. Save it. And you'll get the error. In case if you want to execute some piece of code after this catch block, you can simply make use of finally block here. Just console log something. Make it it's finally block. Now save it. Go to browser. And you will see the output it's rejected and it's a finally block this finally block will always execute regardless to the output of your promise let's remove this piece of code save it and now you can see a promise will resolve and we'll get the string plus finally block if i'll restore it save it i'll get the rejection then the finally block So whenever you want to handle the errors in case of async and await, 
just simply wrap that piece of code with the try and catch block if you want to execute some piece of code after the catch block simply go with the finally block i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day